One of the questions that people have been asking me more and more recently is why isn't AMD FSR 4 on the RDNA 3 cards on the RX 7000 series? Because NVIDIA did the LSS 4 transformer even for the RTX 2000 series. And of course you're right, but you cannot have it all. Let's start from the beginning. From FSR 1 to FSR 3.1, this includes FSR 1, 2.1, 2.2, 3 and 3.1, the upscaling algorithm was only software sided, meaning that it was just a software solution running with computing. But FSR 4 changed that and went with machine learning, using the power of the RX 9000 series AI course to make it happen. Now, one of the things that made AMD go to upscaling and frame generation only on the software side was you. Yeah, guys, you all. People were complaining, as usual, that AMD should go in the opposite way of NVIDIA and support upscaling to most of the available GPUs, especially the older ones. And yes, even the older cards like the RX 480 that was released in 2016 can use FSR, while the first generation of cards that can use the LSS were released in 2018. And when we compared the LSS2 to FSR2, the difference wasn't that big. It was there, of course, but it wasn't that big. But today, we got a big one. A big sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. It was there, of course, but it wasn't that big. But things changed with the LSS3 that brought way better upscaling quality and at the same time brought frame generation to the gaming scene. So by the time GTX users were pissed at Nvidia for their top tier cards like the 1080 Ti not supporting the LSS and the RTX 2000 and 3000 users were pissed at Nvidia as well for not allowing them to use frame generation. Even though the RTX 3000 series also have an optical flow accelerator, which is used for the frame generation. So what did AMD do? It took them some time of course, but they released FSR3. And FSR3 not only allowed frame generation to work with their older GPUs, but also allowed it to work with Nvidia and Intel GPUs as well. And I still see some people with the RTX 2000 and 3000 series GPUs using the LSS upscaling plus FSR frame generation. And of course you can thank AMD for that. Oh! But well, since AMD's options in terms of frame generation and upscaling were only software sided, while Nvidia was using machine learning, and AMD users started complaining again on how poor the FSR upscaling quality was. So AMD released FSR 3.1. And FSR 3.1 brought some upscaling improvements, of course, but most importantly brought the ability of decoupling upscaling from frame generation, again, allowing NVIDIA users to use the LSS upscaling with FSR frame generation. It also brought, of course, Anti-Lag 2 to the party in order to make the added latency of frame generation a smaller issue. And this all, of course, while still supporting older GPUs. But again, people still complained about FSR's poor upscaling quality when compared to the LSS or even XCSS, especially when the LSS4 dropped. By the time AMD had been already working on FSR4 for over a year because they knew that if they wanted to compete with Nvidia's upscaling technique, they needed to go with machine learning. Now, what happens with machine learning upscalers is that you need to use AI cores or tensor cores and for that the card it needs to in fact support hardware AI cores. And the only AMD cards on the AMD lineup that support AI cores or that feature or bring AI cores are the RX 7000 series and the newer RX 9000 series, that in terms of course of AI power are much more powerful than the 7000 series. And we were all very impressed when FSR4 dropped, because it wasn't only a major uplift in terms of visual fidelity when compared to FSR3, as it was also better than the LSS3 in most cases, and in some cases was even on par with the LSS4 CNN model, being only beaten by the new Transformer model. And again, that was possible because of machine learning and AI. So technically, only the RX 7000 and 9000 series could support FSR4, but in reality, FSR4 uses FP8 instructions, 
something that the RX 7000 series do not support, meaning that AMD needs to port or convert those instructions to FP16 or another instruction set, which the 7000 series support, and AMD did state that they were at least trying to make it work, but they also state that they didn't know if it was possible, or at least if the performance gains were something really worth it. And I believe the reason they said that is because the AI cores on the 7000 series are quite slower, and having FSR4 running with FP16 would cost even more performance, so I assume that the 7000 series lower end GPUs like the 7600 XT would gain almost no performance when enabling FSR4. But I'm just assuming things of course, I have no info to be honest. This is all to tell you that there will be what we call growth pains. People cannot ask for better quality and infinite support for the older GPU generations. There will be a point where people will have to choose in between having better quality or support for older generations. And some generations will need to be left behind in order to increase the quality for the newer ones. And I believe this is the point AMD is at. The RX 7000 series will most likely get FSR 4 or something like FSR 3.5, something in between, like the DPA4 model from uh, 4XESS that is free for all GPU vendors to use. But again, the other older GPU, GPU series will just be left behind because that's how it works, they don't really have AI cores. And people saying that their next GPU will be an NVIDIA one because AMD is not supporting FSR4 for the 7000 series or older GPUs, seriously. <laughs> they are either too young on the PC market or they have short memory. Because NVIDIA had their growth pains when going from the GTX 1000 to the RTX 2000 series, where users having really, really strong graphic cards like the GTX 1080 Ti for the time were left in the dust with no ability for ray tracing and no ability for upscaling, so no DLSS. And it happened again with frame generation, where the RTX 2000 and 3000 users were left in the dust. And it happened again with multi-frame generation, where all the other previous generations were left in the dust. So multi-frame generation is only usable with the RTX 5000 series. And believe me, it will happen again. So saying that your next GPU will be an NVIDIA one just because the LSS4 upscaling is supported even by the RTX 2000 series is not really a good argument as those cards already had tensor cores and were still locked away from all the newer features, of course, besides upscaling and ray reconstruction. And it's all to say that I believe that something will come for the RX 7000 series, um, again, something like FSR 4 or FSR 3.5, but people with older generations can forget it, they will not get something even close to FSR 4, they, it just won't happen, it just won't happen without AI. It is sad, but true. And we saw what I'm saying across the years, I mean, this is the growth point for AMD. And I believe that the 9000 series cards will still support the newer technologies to come in the next few years, I'm pretty sure of it, but the older ones of course will be left in the dust. And mostly because there is a roof for what a software solution can reach or can do, and of course because companies are there to grab your money as well. <laughs> And if you're thinking about Intel's XESS, well, they indeed have an open version of their upscaler that was still quite better than FSR 3.1, but it was a ported version using DPA4 instructions, while the main version uses XEMX instructions with Intel GPUs and, of course, delivering a higher quality as well. And I believe that the FSR4 ported version will be something like that, I guess. But even on the XESS side, they now release their frame generation technique and it only supports Intel GPUs as well. That's how things are going. But in the end, remember, it is the user who chooses the market. If you don't buy a certain product, that will make companies rethink. But you can't really keep complaining about the Nvidia practices or about some companies' practices and just keep buying their products because you are fueling those same products. If they see that tactic works, they will keep using it. And the other companies will do exactly the same. If that tactic works for NVIDIA, they will just copy the tactic because, again, it works. This is like common sense. So as I always say in my videos, vote with your wallet. If you think a company's practices are not that great, if they are anti-consumer or so on, don't buy their products. Buy the other company's products or just shut the hell up. If you know that they have bad practices but you keep, you keep buying their products, of course, it's your choice but don't 
complain about those same choices or those same practices. That is just dumb and it is uh, what, I, what we call hypocrisy. Just don't do it. And well guys, that's all for this video. I just wanted to enlighten some of you guys because again, some of you guys are just too young on the PC market. If you think that, sh that going from AMD to Nvidia just because the older GPUs still support the LSS4, yeah, you are really forgetting about FSR frame generation that is not supported to anything um, below the, the RTX 4000 series and multi-frame generation that isn't supported for anything besides the, the RTX 5000 series. While AMD has been uh, has been actually opening their, their technologies to the most GPUs that they can, but again, there is a roof to what a software solution can do and AMD just kind of hit that wall and they needed to go machine learning. And in order to go machine learning, they need AI cores and a powerful AI AI and powerful AI capabilities, sorry. So yes, that's the reason why the RX 9000 series are the only ones supporting FSR 4, for now at least. And that's the reason why anything below the RX 7000 series won't get FSR 4, at least not even close to what FSR 4 delivers in terms of quality. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video and leave your comment in the comment section and let us know the community what you think about FSR 4. If, you, if now, after watching my video, you're thinking in a different way, if you still believe that AMD should do more, I, I don't really know. I just really want to know what you guys think, because this is kind of, a, um, kind of a spicy topic. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that I made my point here. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Cheers.